Today we're checking out some more Star Trek The Next Generation. Captain's Log. Captain's Log. We are in the Zindi Sabu star system. Oh. Having rendezvoused with a Ferengi vessel. With Ferengi requesting. Three days ago, they have so far responded only with the message, Stand by, Enterprise. For three days? You sent for me, sir. Yes, Doc. I wonder if they'll ever have a romance. They did like each other when they got the space madness. Perhaps maybe nothing, but I've been feeling a bit odd of late. Is he feeling sick? And now I got this damned headache. A what? Headache, headache. Surely you know what a headache is. Did they not have of headaches? Of course. Oh, I thought they might not have headaches in the future. That'd be cool. I see nothing physically wrong, but I want to run some additional scans in sickbay. Doctor, all I've got is... Is an order to report to sickbay. So headaches are pretty rare, though. Captain from First Officer, they're finally sending a message. All right, all right, on let's On my hear. way, number one. On my way. I think you have any hint of what they've been waiting for. Negative, Captain. Open hailing frequencies. All right, let's see this Ferengi. Is this the Ugly as Captain ever. Picard to discuss a mutual problem, Captain? What problem is that, Damon Bart? They must have super hearing. Shall we meet on your vessel or mine? Here, here, on the Enterprise. Captain, I sense considerable deception on Buck's part. Yes, okay. We would like you to be our guest here. As you wish, Picard. I feel like that's a bad idea now. A new era of cooperation for both our people. That we'll see. In one Earth hour, then? In one hour, Damon Buck. Yeah, his face. <laughs> it did agree a bit easily. Yeah. Well, in one hour, we shall know why. Maybe they're, like, sending a bomb aboard or something. I don't, I don't trust these guys. Well, she said they're deceiving, so. I sense considerable deception. I'm enjoying wearing this outfit while I watch this. Makes me feel legit. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's continuing. I'm listening to the strings this time. I'm gonna listen to a new instrument every time. Strings! Bum, 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 bum. Let's do it! You should not have a headache unless there's something wrong, sir. Maybe true that headaches were once quite common before we understood the nature of pain. Can you imagine? Feel better? Did she do it? Did she zap it? Pain's gone. She's acting. Medical fakery. Medical fakery? I want further exams. Crusher. When the Ferengi matter is settled. I mean, she could never replace bones, but Dr. Crusher does crush it. Wesley, you've got something Ooh, to report. Ooh, we got a new sweater. I feel like I would wear that sweater. I like that sweater. I want one of those. I was in engineering, playing around with boosting the sensor output. Boosting it? How? We will discuss this later. <laughs> Data. The correct procedure. Did the headache come back? What's wrong, sir? Does he have, like, a space tumor? We are receiving no signal at all from the approaching starship, sir. Time, sir. Time? Oh, for the Ferengi beam over. Oh, boy. I don't think he's on the ball. Stand by. Hailing frequencies open, sir. Gonna see their ugly mugs again. Ooh. Ba -da -da -da. Might I introduce my first officer, Kazada? Not as handsome as ours. My first officer, Commander William Riker. Very handsome. Second in command, Data. Hilarious. Council of Troy. Super cool. Most interesting. Uh, they are that, sir. <sighs> and the android was mentioned too. What is his price? Poke him in the eye. He is not for sale. His, um, his secondhand merchandise, and you wouldn't want him. It is under our control. One of our starships under your control. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. That is alarming to me. The hero of Maxia. Huh? That fine vessel was Ferengi. Which you destroyed, sir. Oh. It's only a thousand kilometers away now. Put it on your viewer. What do they have up their sleeves? What is the purpose of this? Yeah. What? <gasps> whoa, whoa, what kind of headache is this? What in the F? She's feeling it too. No, 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 I'm fine. No, we are not. As if it were something from your past. Oh, is he feeling right. guilt? He's having a guilt headache. Look at that ship closely. It's a stargazer. A stargazer? It's my old ship. Oh. How did he lose it? That vessel is yours, if you wish to have it. What? For what? Consider it an act of friendship. What are they up to? I don't trust them for one second. Commercial break. At that moment, I was remembering being at the helm of the stargazer. Maybe it is guilt. I can smell smoke. Can you smell it? Does he have a tumor? There's nothing burning, Jean-Luc. That was just part of my memory. Memory or nightmare? Or tumor. 
We were traveling at warp two through the Maxia Zeta system when this unidentified starship suddenly appeared and fired on us, point blank ray. Been lying in some deep moon crater. Ooh, a deep moon crater. Can you identify them, Vigo? If they come in a second time with our shields damaged. Sir, who's Vigo? He's my weapons officer on the Stargazer. Uh, what is happening to him? I ordered a sensor bearing, and when it came into the return arc, you performed what Starfleet textbooks now refer to as the Picard Maneuver. The Picard Maneuver? Cool, cool, cool. Stopped right off the enemy vessel's bow, fired with everything I had. You did it first. So cool. The Save Our Skins Maneuver. The Picard Maneuver. Limped through space in shuttlecraft for weeks before we were picked up. Oh, wow. It's having an impact on him. Frank, you're standing by for us to take possession of the Stargazer. I want to go over to her. I understand, sir. Do we think that's a good idea? I mean, it's got to be a trap, right? I mean, they wouldn't just be like, oh, by the way, here, here's this thing for free. Yeah, there's something, something's fishy here. USS Stargazer. Cool name. Starfleet Registry NCC 2893. I activated the emergency power cells. Amazing, they still work. Yeah, I wonder if he can see anything on here. This is the stuff of legends. I wonder if he's gonna act nuts now that he's on it. Hello, old friend. Hello, old friend. Something special. find this most intriguing, sir. We are forced to abandon our starship. May she find her way without us. Apparently she did, sir. Right into the Ferengi's hands. I'm... I'm... Going to his I look at my old cabin. I, I feel like they're... I feel like... They, I guess they checked it out, but... Wouldn't they anticipate he would go do that? I feel like someone's gonna get bombed here. <laughs> right? Oh, oh my god. He shouldn't have gone alone. Captain... Another headache. But my things. I'll see they're sent to your Enterprise quarters. Yar, you should have checked out everything, including the trunks in his room. I guess, I, who knows what that thing is. Actually, it was quite a bargain, Kazago. I thought the Ferengi always made a profit on things. <laughs> I suppose that's an answer. How was it, Captain? Very strange, number one. Like going back to the house you grew up in. But no one's home. That is weird going back to places from your past. Take over number one. What's wrong? I wish I could say. So they brought the case over. So that's in his room, so great. It would appear that the starship which Captain Picard attacked had in fact under a flag of truce. What? And apparently, the captain destroyed the ship without notice or provocation. Seriously? No. No. And what proof? It is logged in his own voice, sir. What? Would you care to hear it, sir? I'm gonna need to hear that. No. No. There's some, there's, there's some sort of mistake. He attacked them without provocation? Given by me, Jean-Luc Picard. What does this mean? This to see, remember giving it? But I refuse to believe you ever said that. I've assumed they've simulated your voice somehow. I've already put data yeah. to work on it. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. He believes I it, know, right? sir. I must report to Starfleet. It's at least one full day subspace communication to reach there. And one more full day for that answer to return. Wow, that's how long it takes to get the message back? They're far. I'm certain the Ferengi are behind the faked log. Yes, I, I am also they're waiting certain. out there. Headache back, sir. Damn. They need to get that orb out of his room. I'm certain the Ferengi are behind this too. In the hopes that my belated honesty will be taken into account by Starfleet when judging my actions during a confrontation with an unidentified vessel. Every time I hear the word vessel though, I do think of Chekhov. Vessel. Unidentified vessel. Are you aware of the details of the Battle of Maxia? Captain Bach has just made me aware of it, Riker. The infamy of your Picard is now fully known. I can't believe it. Captain Picard's log entry was falsified. What do you want of me? Just one question. As you humans say, I'm all ears. He literally is all ears. Maybe you can trick him into telling the truth. If your Captain Bach knew about this, then why this peaceful meeting to present us with a stargazer? Put the orb in there. And now you accuse us of crime, Riker? I can bear no more insults. Come into his cabin and look around. But something unusual has definitely been happening to you. Well, the doctors always say the obvious is always a revelation. Why do captains always act like they're immortal? And cranky. <laughs> this guy. Oh, that sound is kind of like a headache. Is that a needle? It wasn't this bad. Oh, okay. But it's getting worse. <laughs> Want to talk about it? Yeah, they should bond. I destroyed an entire vessel. Entire crew. But he didn't, right? I mean... Did you have a choice? I mean, he did, but... The last three nights, 
I, uh, I've heard these voices, and now the stargazer is really here. Oh, am I going crazy? Well, it appears like that, but I think, th I mean, they're just messing with them. What was that? <sighs> Something to let you sleep. She's gonna knock him out. That's probably for the best. <laughs> Space beds do not look comfy. <laughs> He's all sweating. Just having nightmares. Oh, man. These guys suck. I hate them. You will injure yourself as you once injured me. He will injure himself? Damage the boy. Power system failing! Sensor beam bearing on hostile ship. It's reliving it. Taser's fire! Torpedo's away! We're not seeing her. We're only seeing him. Fire. All information is time-coded by entry, and the bits, when totaled, produce an aggregate amount which- I don't want a computer science lesson data. <laughs> Say it in plain English. It's not him. Logs is a forgery, sir. Right. Correction. The log just found aboard the Stargazer is a forgery. Captain, you're looking better, sir. Yeah, is he feeling better? A little sleep. Does look better. Whoever tampered with your personal log was clever. But a bit clumsy. It's definitely a fabrication, sir. Well, the Federation will know that. What are you doing here? I thought I was captain of this starship. <laughs> Sir, are you abandoning? No. Or did you sleep through the Academy lecture on the conservation of tractor beams? Why is he being so rude? What is this deal? Something's always wrong with Picard. Obviously, there's some sort of thought process disorder here. But I can't find a physical reason for it. Anything. I'm puzzled too. Yeah, he just needs a break, an episode where nothing happens to him. I'm busy at the moment, Wesley. I know, Mom, but this is it. important. I don't know much about brain scans, but I glanced at these when you were studying them. The patterns are the same as those picked up from the low-intensity transmissions from the Ferengi ship. Solved it. Let's get to the captain. No, they might be affecting the captain. To Riker. To Riker. The kid solved it. I love this kid. You're welcome, ladies. Yeah, good job. Good job, buddy. Adults. Adults. No one takes him seriously and he could solve it every time. I'm very curious to see what happens with this character as the show goes on. Something over there is affecting the captain's thought patterns. Yep. Give me a location on Captain Picard. Captain Picard is in transporter room three. Why? Is he beaming? New information. Captain Picard is no longer aboard the Enterprise. Where'd he go? To the Ferengi ship or he went to the Stargazer? He's going off by himself? What's he doing? Is he going rogue? Captain, you're not in your right mind again. Shield up, computer. He's controlling you with the orb. What are you doing? Collecting on an old debt. I mean, he's really, he's really got him. A low intensity beam of intermittent pulse inside this starship. It's in his, it's in his quarters. Inside Captain Picard's quarters. You transferred some of his belongings from the Stargazer? Yes, fairly heavy chest. Come on, Worf. Find it and smash it. You murdered my only son. Oh, son. Yikes. On his first voyage as Daemon. That does suck. Die well, Captain. No way. Well, well, though he did put the shield up, how are they going to go get him? Captain Picard aboard Stargazer. Please answer. It is not going to fire on them, right? What do you make of it, LaForge? Seems to be a network of miniature circuitry, sir. Incredibly complex. The Ferengi aren't that stupid. Why is our gifty one the power, human? Where is your captain? Oh, you know. The Stargazer. And I'm wondering if this has something to do with it. Thought maker. If your captain is criminal enough to own one. Ah, uh, so it's criminal. Now I ask you again. First officer to first officer. He won't tell the truth. Enterprise to Picard. Picard. What's Do up? not attack again! Give your identity! You force us to defend ourselves! He's reliving it. Our torpedoes! No! He's... Yeah, put up your shields, put up your shields. He's smelling the smoke. He's hallucinating! The Picard maneuver. What is the defense against that data? There is no defense, sir. He's gonna use the Picard maneuver against the Enterprise? No! You should also know that Damon Bach no longer commands this vessel. Huh? His first officer has confined him for engaging in this unprofitable adventure. Yeah, all they care about is profit, right? Concentrate shields at that point. Make it so. Make it so. No question of it, sir. Stand by. Ba -ba -ba. Captain Picard, listen. Yeah, can they speak sense to him? The Ferengi are using their thought devices on you. Who is this? He doesn't even recognize him. Look around. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it now. Destroy the sphere. Yes, yes. Destroy the sphere. No, 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 no. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Uh, 
uh, that was a bigger explosion than I thought. Are you all right, Captain? Well, he should be back to his old self now. Oh, they're a little bit blown up. Where is Bok? Removed from command, sir. Placed under guard for his act of personal vengeance. Seems there was no profit in revenge. There never is. Poetic. Let the dead rest, <laughs> and the past remain the past. Back to the Enterprise. Beam me home, my gun. Okay, guys, that was season one, episode nine. A solid one. It's not my fave uh, so far, but I had a good little uh, revenge story there. Although I feel like they probably should have seen right through the Ferengi's plan, especially when they came on board and they said, you know, I mean, you could tell the guy was, was pissed off about Picard destroying their ship and then but also we have this no strings attached here's a free starship cruiser for ya i feel like that's a little bit suspicious you know not to say i didn't enjoy it i can still enjoy any time that we spend with this crew i like them all this was a very picard centered episode i don't like to see him in pain or like being controlled i, I want to see him in charge so i'm hoping there's not a ton of episodes where like someone takes over his brain and he is under someone else's control i want to see him i want to see picard and how he is. I'm trying to get a handle on his character, so I need to see more of him acting as himself. And I did like that Wesley in the end is the one who solved the problem. Uh, I feel like I've heard some rumblings that people don't like Wesley's character or that the fact that he makes everyone else seem kind of incompetent, but I don't know. I don't, I don't have a huge problem with that. I like Wesley's character. I don't know. Maybe it'll get a little tired in the future that he just shows up and solves all the problems all the time, but for now, I am loving like the boy genius. I want to check out the last one we're going to watch today i think it'll be a good one it's called hide and q so i think q will be back let's get into it here we go season one episode 10 hide and q captain's log start captain's log dropped off counselor troy for a shuttle visit home no troy Solar federation colony transmitted an urgent call for medical help Ooh, urgent call an accidental explosion oh. devastated a mining operation oh, shoot a burn unit Dr. Crusher. The number of colonists 504. 504 casualties? Or injured people? Oh, sir. Cause maybe a methane like gas. Force field out there of some kind. It's almost. Oh, it's Q, it's Q, it's Q, it's Q. Yep. The Q entity, sir. It reads solid, sir. Reversing power, yeah. sir. This guy doesn't mess around. Now, damn Q. Not now, Q. Ba -da -ba. I need to know more about Q. I think I may have read him wrong in the last one. I thought he was a villain, but then some people said he's not a villain. You're reading it wrong. So... I thought by now that you would have scampered back to your own little star system. <laughs> we are on a mission of rescue. <laughs> and are impressed. The realization of your most impossible dream. Oh. Okay. We are in the midst of an urgent journey. Is he a three-headed snake? Takes precedence. If my magnificence blinds, perhaps something more familiar. Yes, your human form, please. In some sort of costume. Admiral Q How dare service. you wear the Starfleet uniform? Wait, I don't know anything about Q. Maybe he's not a bad guy. He was definitely an antagonist the last time we saw him, right? I guess maybe not a villain, but I just was very intimidated by him because he's so much more powerful than them. Space. Space. Okay, what am I listening to? The trumpets really are the star of this. It's a good thing that's a good theme song. It would be horrible to sit through a terrible theme song every time. Captain Blogs. Hide in Q. Untimely visit from Q. Okay, Q, who are you? I need to know more. No Starfleet Admiral. Neither am I. Three headed snake seems. More likely to me. Uh, Commander, you seem to find this all very amusing. If we weren't on our way to help them stop for this is always suffering and dying. He doesn't even care. Not very compassionate, anyway. Whoever he is. See, Worf, I feel you. Microhead. Microbrain. Impossible dreams. Look at these dimples. When this rescue is completed, I am prepared to listen. No, come, Picard. Why do you distrust me? Why? Because of the last time. At our first meeting, you seized my vessel. Huh? Attack my people! I'm with Picard. Seized my vessel. I don't like you. Threatened to convict us. The hmm? Q became interested. The Q. Seized my vessel. Too accustomed to military privileges. We don't have time for these games. Game? Is he about to put them all in a game? A deadly game? No. A game. See, I don't like him. He shows up, he beams them all out of whatever they're doing, even if it's important. No, boo. I mean, I, I want to see the episode, but I don't like Q right now. Perhaps I will change my mind in the future. Well, some world. Twin moons. Yeah, what do you see? Anywhere. Anywhere, exactly. Exists. See, I'm intimidated by that power. 
He's imaginative. Apparently our captain wasn't meant to be here with us. Left him there. Security, engineering, this is the bridge. Who is a captain without a crew? Oh, what is that sound? It sounds like two saw blades rubbing against each other. Is he trapped in there? Oh, bop, 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 bop. Oh, I'm getting shivers from this music. Ooh, those strings. Woo. Join me, Riker. Is Napoleon right now? The games at play. You reveal yourselves best in how you play. They will be sportsmanlike. Vital information. What is this we're drinking? Space champagne. Just thinking about an old-fashioned lemonade. Oh, old-fashioned earth lemonade. And so it became that hot out here on this plane. Sizzling. Everybody gets the drip. Well, I'll have a champagne, please. Thank you. Q. War pours it out. I like war. I'm with you right now. I've seen nothing to tell me he's a good guy. Rigid Klingon code. They're partners now. Fascinated with the human past. Yeah. Au contraire. Au contraire, mon ami. Future which intrigues us. Change is at the heart of what you are. This isn't part of any human future. I borrowed this from your stodgy captain for a game that we will play. What game? Hide and cue. This is from Europe's Napoleonic era, sir. I knew it was Napoleon. The fleur de lis gave it away. But Napoleonic equipment. <laughs> Shall it be a test of strength? You have not intelligence then? <laughs> Stupid <laughs> idiots. What would we win? Future that you could imagine. Yeah, he said beyond your wildest dreams. Disastrous of your lose. Can any of you stay alive? To the dead. We will. This game shall completely unfair. Too far. Uh, like what? Where is she, Q? Yes, where, where? Penalty box. Unharmed unless one of you merits a penalty. If any of you should be sent there, where does she go? Into nothingness. The only one who can destroy your Tasha is you. True. Yeah, meanwhile on the ship. He's just gonna sit around and chill. Captain's log. Captain's log. I wish I could help you, Captain. Oh, good. Just being your back. All right. Oof. What are you doing here? Vanished. It sounds strange. I'm in a penalty box. It sounds strange, but it definitely isn't. One more penalty, and I'm gone. Frustrating to be controlled like this. Yeah, he can just beam them anywhere he wants. I don't like that. Tasha, it's all right. If he was nice, it might be fine. Crying? It happens. There is a new ship standing order in the penalty box. Tears are permitted. Oh, that's so sweet. Good rule. Oh, if you were the captain. Consorting with lower rank females. Females! They're only human. Yes. Penalty over. Oh, our beams are back to the planet? He's pissed, and I'm with Ridiculous. you. Ridiculous. How dare you? Star log entry. <laughs> Don't you dare. This is Q. The Enterprise is now helpless while its bridge crew plays out a game to test whether the first officer is worthy. He wants Riker. He doesn't want anyone else. So you're taking on Riker? Yeah. Shall we wager on that? Against your keeping out of humanity's path forever. Please. Riker will be offered impossible to refuse. What? Unless it's like his mom or something. I mean, he's not going to choose something over these guys. That's for sure. He's at the third ridge. I wonder if we ever uh -oh. see from his point of view. Dun, dun, dun. Is this the game going on? Uh. You seem to have some need for humans. Concern. I don't know. Likes to toy with them. Why not a statement of what you seek? Yeah, Why what does he want? Your human Shakespeare explained it all. All the galaxy is a stage. All the world's <laughs> a stage. He would have said galaxy. Imagine Shakespeare in space. Life is but a walking shadow. It is a tale told by an idiot. So how we respond to a game tells you. Interesting cue. Perhaps maybe a little, uh, Hamlet? What a piece of work is man. Infinite <laughs> in faculty. Whoa, Hamlet. Like a god. How dare you? I see us one day becoming that. Is it that which concerns you? He pissed him off. Yeah, I don't know what Q wants. They're headed this way. Look at Riker. Ball and powder muskets. It's hardly a weapon by our standards. Mm. It hardly sounds like Q to give us an advantage like that. Yeah, I don't buy it for one second. Your phases are no good here. Okay, they are good. Drop your weapons! I'm afraid that was me, War. Incredible War. <laughs> yeah, Warf's on it. A warrior's reaction isn't human at all. Vicious animal things. Hmm? Yeah, snarling dog pigs. Pa -pa 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 -pa. I like these military drums. <gasps> what? Move 
fast. I don't like that. Muskets with lasers. Ba, 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 ba. Those aren't muskets. And not muskets at all. You have only one chance to save them. Send them back to the ship. Send them the same way I do. <gasps> I have given you the power of the cube. Shame the power of the cube? Use your power. Why does he like Riker so much? Beam them. But he doesn't mean to the Enterprise, right? Oh, he meant beam those guys out of here. Yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. I'm not even smart enough to keep up with it. Riker's freaking beaming the right guys. How, why, why, why did he give him that power? Is he gone? Engineering, this is the bridge. Back online, sir. They were never off. There's been no interruption in course or speed. It's as though we never stopped. Yeah, he like takes them out of space and time. Q, suspended time. Yes! Is Riker gonna come back with the power though? He doesn't even know what the power is. Where's Commander Riker? He must still be on the planet. We were under attack by these. You may find it aesthetically displeasing. Data. Sir, the important thing, why is <laughs> Commander Riker missing? Q has an interest in him. And the mm -hmm. reason for that, sir? He has scouted Riker. Who became interested in him at Farpoint. I have no idea what it means. Proceed with our rescue mission. Riker must have some kind of ability or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Is he like going mad now? The joke is you. Oh. Who has been granted a gift. How can you not appreciate? Send the soldiers back to the nothingness. You can send yourself back to the ship or change your shape, become anything. Why would you give him this power? What do you need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good question. You want something from us, non entities? Oh, come, Riker. Methinks thou doth protest too much. We have offered you a gift. But Out why? The goodness of your heart. I return to the Q continuum, the limitless dimensions of the galaxy. Ooh. I don't understand. You never will. It is. Until you become one of us. At Far Point, we discovered you are unusual creatures. We're growing. And evolving. It compels us to learn. It is a power which will grow stronger. Yeah. Have you any idea? He's seen that far. A future that you cannot yet conceive beyond us. Oh you my. You must know more about this human compulsion. You can bring to us this human need. Maybe he should stop toying with them. But to become a part of you, I don't even like you. I don't like him either. You're gonna miss me. I feel like he must have taken the power. Oh. Uh-oh. Not again. <laughs> right? Just probably stranded them there. What's going on? My phaser's gone. No phasers, no phasers. I mean, why would you beam them over with weapons? If you have an answer to any of this... Don't accuse him! Well, how are they gonna beat him without phasers? War! Just running at them! He's a warrior. <gasps> War! Um... Look out! Oh, um, uh, uh, what is that? Okay, this can't be real. This is not real. Oh, shoot. That looks real, though. Help! He wanted him to use the Q thing. Alive, alive, alive. Okay, does he still have the power? Is he gonna keep the power? Once you get the power, can you lose it again? I have so many questions. Only the Q can do that. He is the Q now. Looks pretty smug over there. Captain's log. Riker is the Q. How the hell do I advise you? Yeah. No one has ever offered to turn me into a god before. Close to immortality. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And do, if you're gonna refuse, not allow yourself to use this. Are you worried that I won't be able to say no? That's probably fair. Are you strong enough? Yeah, anything sir. you want, anytime. Oh boy. You have my word. Oh man. He's a good man, but that's tough. This is the real team. game that Q's playing with them. If you give a human the power to have whatever he wants anytime, will he use it? It's just us. Just three? He wasted so much time. Is he gonna like turn back time? Oh, not just three, but still, that's not 500. There's somebody under here. Okay, I'm seeing so many ways he could use this power, though. He could lift up all this rubble, he could fix them all. Oh, crap. I probably couldn't be trusted with the power of Q. <gasps> A kid. She's but dead. Breaker can save her. I, I, I don't know. Did you have the power? He's not allowed to use it. Certainly you can't bring her back to life. I'm prevented from that by a promise. He's a man of his word, I think. But this is gonna eat away at him! If he has the power to do that, oh crap. This is a good character development. This is interesting. I should have never made that agreement. I could have saved that child. When you grow to like it too much, I want a meeting with you. I'll discuss all of this new power. Turned his back on him right in the middle of a sentence. 
got a chill from that. Uh oh, uh oh. This is the real game that Q wanted to play. Is he just feeling like he's the most powerful one there now? He can do whatever he wants if he really wants to. We can confer here. I've permitted you this, of course, Jean Luc. He called him Jean Luc. I don't like this power imbalance thing all of a sudden. I'm the same William T. Riker you've always known. Well, not really. He's being sassy to the captain. Everyone still looks uncomfortable. Power corrupts. Do you believe I haven't thought of that, Jean-Luc? Stop calling him that. You and I are now on a first name basis. Yeah. Will, mm -hmm. something has happened already. Yeah. Haven't you seen how much I regretted not saving that child? To save the rest of you from those soldier things. That particular danger was invented. They think very highly of us. Oh boy, I, he's changing. We have a quality which they admire. Or fear. Yeah, or he told you exactly what you want to hear. The Q has muddled your mind. Are these truly your friends? Oh god. He's back. Just wearing another costume. Let us pray. Let us do <laughs> no such thing. Yeah. Kill him. Our costumes, Q. <gasps> right? I love Picard. This guy's... I forgive your blasphemy. <laughs> right? Me and Picard. Flam man. Flim flam. Why do you claim friendship while obstructing his way to the greatest... Then it's not yet certain it's your jealousy. No. You have the power, each one of them with a gift. Something I know they'd like. How touching. Shut it, Q. May I please give happiness and support your idea? I'm curious please to see what they get. With him if you wish. Yeah, I don't know what each one of them would want. Demonstrate your gifts of affection. What would Dana want? No way I could harm any of you. Shall I guess your dreams? Wesley, I may know best of all. No, please. To be a grown-up, so we can be Starfleet? Hey, not bad. Looking good, looking sharp. No, but it's what you've always wanted to become human. <gasps> to be human, a real boy. But I never wanted to compound one illusion with another. It would never be so to me. Wow. Sorry, Commander. Interesting. He wants to be able to see. He can see. I feel like these gifts won't last, so take it in, buddy. Have you seen them all? You're as beautiful as I imagined. Oh. Then we can throw away the visor. No. I don't think so, sir. Price is a little too high. I don't like who I'd have to thank. Okay. Rather be blind. I'm so glad he got to see for a second, though. Please. Got to see all their faces. Oh, jeez. Warrior Wharf. What would he want? He did want a Lady Klingon. Jealous. Is that just foreplay for Klingons? Damn, they don't get along. No! He will not be tempted. She's from a world now alien to me. Is this your idea of sex? I have no place for it in my life. Micro brain, what possesses you? Oh boy. It's too soon for this. Needs to grow up. I just want to get there on my own. Nobody wants his gifts. They are all being tested. I feel like such an idiot. So you should. <laughs> and as for you, it's all over, Q. Pay off your wager. I recall no. Never to trouble our species again. If I could just do one more thing, some explaining you have to do now. He's in trouble. Picard sent him packing. Ba, 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 ba. Everything is as it should be. Extraordinary. Mm -hmm. We've just now been back from our rescue mission. How is it that the Q can handle time and space and us so badly? Space and time are simpler. Hmm. No coordinates, lady in number one. Engage. Engage. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Okay, guys, that was season one, episode 10. And yeah, that one does stick out as a good one. That's a good one. I feel like I'm sure Q shows up again in the future. In fact, I feel like I've seen more titles coming up in this season with Q in them, possibly. Maybe maybe season two. But I feel like he's a good antagonist that will keep popping up throughout the series. And I like him. Like, I don't, I don't like the character. I mean, the character I feel like is he's a good antagonist in that like i don't like him like in the way that picard doesn't like him if picard doesn't like him i don't like him but i mean the actor is obviously good has he killed anyone yet that we've seen i don't think we've seen him kill anyone so that's 
that's something at least, but he definitely, he's an antagonist, certainly, I would say. That's how it comes across that Picard thinks of him as an antagonist. I'm curious to see when he pops up in other episodes what, what that's like, what's gonna happen. I, I thought maybe, you know, he gave Riker the powers. I thought he might actually end up keeping the powers like for the rest of the, the series, but no. It was probably for the best, and I guess after a while it would get boring, just like, oh, is he gonna use the power, or is he not, so. But for a second there, I was like, that would be an insane character if just like, you had the power to do anything you want, but you can't. I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, I feel like this show, out of all the shows in the universe, could, could can and will go anywhere and everywhere. I mean, we've already gone like beyond space and time. So yeah, this is, this is, this is so good. I'm having such a good time. We will do some more really soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.